Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. Yeah, we've got two systems today from Goomba, so yeah, I'll leave a link to them down below in the description as always guys. But yeah, just before we start, a massive, massive thank you to you all as the subscriber count is still going up and my um, big project video has also surpassed 1,000 views now. So just a massive thanks to everyone who has checked that out because yeah, it's really, really cool that the video has done really, really well because yeah, I've put a lot of time into it and yeah, it's great to see um, all the positive feedback at... Um, has been received from that so just a massive thank you for that and obviously thanks for coming back every day to these videos it's absolutely amazing how things have gone but yeah let's get into today's two systems so yeah we got two from goomba today like i said and the first one we it's an update to one we've actually seen before so if i go ahead and search asteroids we should be able to go ahead and find it and this one actually sparks an idea which could be a future project as well but yeah if i just go ahead and search it up here um let's see here well, where is it so I named it something. Yeah, Asteroids by Goomba here. So yeah, this is his old one, I believe, the um, version there. But yeah, this is the new one. So basically what this is, it's a, so it's a normal solar system simulation, but it's filled with cut asteroids that are not in Universe Sandbox. Like he's custom added all of these asteroids in by himself, I believe, um, using all of their orbital um, things that he's researched up. So in here, there should be an absolute ton of asteroids and stuff that are not in the normal... Um, simulation like, as you can see he's put a lot of the asteroid belt in here I mean that would have taken hours to do all of this stuff I mean credit where credit's due look how many asteroids he has added and there's more stuff in the outer areas here as well and he has gone absolutely crazy in the inner solar system um, as well he's added all of the inner solar system asteroids in there's only these ones only appear in like one simulation in the game I think the inner solar system asteroids I know they're in here somewhere in the game. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing how much um, work he's put in here. Maybe he'd do all the outer solar system ones eventually. But yeah, credit where credit's due. All the time he has put in this to make this. And some of them even have custom colours as well. And that's really, really cool. Now, as you can see, if we get a line up here. I mean, there, there must be a ton of objects in there. Let's see, let's see the count. So he's got over 100 in this solar system. So that is, that's really cool. And I believe he also has some custom planets in here to check out. So there's Jupiter. Um... And Saturn, they're pretty normal. But here we've got a new custom Uranus. A slightly more pale version, pretty much how it should be. Because obviously my one, if you didn't know, is a little more colourful than it should be. But I just like it to be a little more um, sign in colour. But yeah, this one here, this is this is pretty much spot on with the real deal. So that's what you're, the regular Uranus should look like in general. Like that's what it should be. He's also got a sweet looking Neptune Blue Planet 9, as you can see here as well. Looking pretty fine. Um, also we've got Earth, Venus. Uh, doesn't look like any of those guys are modified. But yeah, now moving on to the um, asteroids. I mean, there's all of the um, dwarf objects. But if we go to the asteroids, I mean, look at all these. He must have spent ages getting all of these settings correct, getting all the mass and stuff like all that stuff correct. I mean, there is a ton of stuff in here. Now, this is this is really cool. So now, when I saw um, or when I um, saw this um, when he sent this, I was thinking I actually mentioned this to him as well. We could combine this with the my custom solar system. So obviously Mercury. A Venus, Earth, Mars, they're, all of their custom variants aren't in here. So what we could do is we could mix some of the simulations together and have an ultimate custom solar system with all of the asteroids in it as well. So obviously like mine and Anomalous's like system we put up on the workshop, if we put all of the objects in there into this simulation as well, we'd have an even bigger custom solar system with all of the objects. So, yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see that happen, because that'd be um, quite easy to set up. I can input all of the uh, objects myself doing that, and I think that'd be really cool just to have all of the custom objects and all of, the, all of these asteroids just in one big insane simulation. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that because I think that would be, I think that'd be really, really cool. And I, I think um, when I told Goomba about it, I think he was up for seeing that as well. But, yeah, just imagine having all of, like, the custom Mercury, the custom Venus, the custom Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn as well, also my custom Neptune. Imagine throwing all of that in here and just having the ultimate, like, custom solar system with all of these bonus asteroids in here as well. And obviously I can add some of my custom asteroids in here as well because um, I know I'm not sure if the Mr. Spock asteroid is in here, but I'll definitely go ahead and add that in um, if it isn't. But, yeah. Really, really cool stuff the way he has done this. I wonder how fast this runs. So it runs at 18 days. How high can we go? All right. So it actually runs pretty well. Some of the asteroids are going all over the place, but I'm pretty sure their orbits aren't meant to be uh, completely stable all the time anyway. But it can run at a decent speed there. You can see they're all going around in different directions and stuff. So it's really, really cool to see all this running. But yeah, some of the orbits have gone a little bonkers. I'm not sure if they're supposed to do that. Maybe I did run it a little too quick. If we open it again and run it a little slower, hopefully it will actually stay in place but obviously these are asteroids their orbits will probably change very often just due to the presence of the planets i mean anything that goes near jupiter will either get pulled in or just tossed out 
So it would make sense for a lot of these asteroids to have constant change in orbits. But if we just click this, see, you can see some of the orbits there are going a little funny. That's the moon's orbit, which is wobbling around right now. But you can see, like, this actually does run pretty well. I'm not sure if, um, just looking at this green link one, I'm not sure if that's the, a real object or not, since he's given it a custom trail and all that. I mean, I don't know. Is that Link from the game and stuff? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm, is that a real object? I mean, I don't know. I don't really know enough about all of these asteroids. I mean, there's so many here. I mean, there's no way anyone would know the name of every single one of these. Um, but yeah, just looking at it right now, running at a decent pace here of 22 days. I mean, push it a little further. I mean, pretty cool how it can run. Like, we're running at a month now. It, see, a few stuff gets thrown out. But overall, I mean, it's, it's doing pretty well running at, at three months now. I mean pretty nice stuff like how it actually runs pretty nicely i mean as long as you don't push it too hard it'll run nicely but yeah because if you remember if you push it too hard it will be a little more unrealistic with what the gate or it'll be a little more unrealistic with what the game does with the object so if you keep it at a slow pace you're likely to get more realistic results of what you do but imagine doing what if videos in this simulation with all of these asteroids and stuff and having just massive stars mess up all the orbits. I mean, it would be pretty cool. So if we merge this with the My Custom Simulation and have all of the modded objects in here as well, this could be really cool. Yeah, let, let me know your thoughts on that because I think that was just an idea I thought of and I think that would be a really cool addition to have all of the objects in here. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. But anyways, yeah, really, really cool stuff for this solar system. Definitely a well done and credit where credit's due on this. That is really, really cool um, how he has made that. But now if we move on to the second simulation he sent today. So this was one he made for Techno Joey. I um, yeah, he said he made this simulation for him, so it's called Techno Joe's System. So let's go ahead and um, search this up and see what Goomba has made for us in here. So let's see. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Right. So here we go. Okay, so here is the um, first object, the star here. So this is um, Calhor Z4. Um, yeah, IV, that's 4. Um, so there are all of its settings as well. So pretty really, um, large in mass compared to our sun, but it's around the same size by the looks of it as our sun. Let's quickly get a comparison um, in with the sun. There we go. So it's pretty much the same size as the sun there, but a lot more powerful in luminosity and brightness and all that. So there we go there. So there's our star. And yeah, the um, surface temperature is a lot hotter as well, as you can see, since it's a blue guy. But um, yeah, here, first object right here. So this is Ignis. I'm liking, I'm liking the yellow on that with the reddish surface and it all glowing hot as well. That's looking pretty cool. So 900 degrees, so pretty hot there. Getting scorched up by that blue star um, right there. Next up, we've got Terra here. So this is a... Um, very um, hot, burnt world by the looks of it, at 500 degrees as well. So it's basically just like a big mercury um, right here in a different colour there. So yeah, no atmosphere, just a uh, completely, um, what's the word, a completely uh, non-atmospheric rock right there. Very basic rock, not really much going on there. Pretty dead world um, is the right, um, um, right, um, what's the right description for it, sorry. God, I'm all over the place today. All right, yeah, next up we got this... Um, Kaylee, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. And this is a nice looking ice giant, or, or, or more of a hot, it'd be more of a hot Neptune ice giant, actually. But yeah, nice. So it's got like a Uranus sort of blue there with a nice white colour. So that's quite nice, actually. And then the blue star it gives it, it makes it look slightly different to the picture. The green area looks a little more blue there. That's a nice looking ice giant, or hot Neptune, however you want to call it there. Because obviously, 291 degrees would be more of a hot Neptune ice giant object right there. Right, now moving on to the next one. I have no clue how to pronounce this one, but it's a very, very dark. So here it is here. So this is going with a dark blue and yellow colour theme with it right there. So there we are there. Rightio. Moving on to the next object. So this is um, this one here. This one's an Earth-like world as well. 85 degrees. So pretty hot indeed there. Water there would definitely burn you. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty hot. Right, so um, let's check the stats on it. Life likelihood is very, very low. I'm guessing that's because it's pretty hot. Um, indeed there. And the surface pressure is also quite low as well. So that can also lower the life likelihood stat there. So we've got pretty uh, similar to Earth in the size there. Um, next up, we've got Medio Chris over here. This one's rolling yellow rings as well. Cool. So here it is. So it's a magenta sort of purple object right here. So there we go. Looking very fine with those rings. Rightio, where are we heading next? So next up, we've got Ostium over here. This one's got a, like a lime green, a very light green sort of atmosphere to it. I like, I like the light green atmosphere. I think that looks really cool. 316 degrees there. Green surface all underneath as well. Over there. Looking good with the green rings. Right. That yellow trail one has me interested out there. Uh, next up we got Herba over here. 
also a green object as we can see here pretty similar to the previous one just without the rings there and no atmosphere as well so there we go now heading to the next one over here so this is um calcis calcius god i'm just horrible at pronouncing things uh these names oh they're so annoying <laughs> sometimes All right anyways here it is here so there are its stats so another um basic rocky planet there but a colder version, not hot this time, which is a colder one. All right, now moving on to Stella. What is this one over here? Oh, hello. So it's a nice um, yellow surfaced, yellow atmosphered um, rocky planet here, as you can see. Very nice. I do like the yellow race, yellow atmosphere color. That looks really, really nice. Very cold as well at minus 224. So there we go. And then moving on to the last object over here. This is Tenebris. All the way at the end here. Also with ring system. It's got a moon as well, the only moon in here. So very, very dark rings, as you can see. It's pretty much uh, it's got that black colored atmosphere on it if you look in the background you can just see the faint like dark brown black colored atmosphere there um so, you can, so there we are got like a red sort of color theme underneath it as well on the high elevation you can see bits of it there anyways moving on to the moon here so this is mortis east here and this is a magenta and black colored object there looking very nice so there we go let's uh, check on the let's go on the studios we can see the ring there they're the rings so pretty dark colored rings as well out here but yeah there they are right any more objects or is that everything let's see here and no, i think that's all of them yeah that's all of them okay cool so they've got pretty um pretty perfect like system here none of the orbits are inclined or anything like that all flat looking right there all right so yeah there we go that is it for the techno joe system there so there we go guys that is it for today's video so yeah pretty cool um system some good i really really like that customer solar system with all the asteroids uh, let me let me definitely let me know what would you think if we combine that simulation with all of the modded objects from the modded solar system having all imagine that all that in one system with all those custom objects i think that would be a really really cool project to do so let me know your thoughts on that because i think that'd be really really cool to set up i can make that um in my own time at some point if you guys want to see that and then show it off in a video just at all of the objects there um if you want to see that of course but yeah really really cool stuff indeed and also guys if you want to send in your own simulations make sure to join my discord server link in the description and you can send them on the upload chats there that's the easiest way to get a system in because a few people been asking me recently about how to send the system in so yeah, that's all you need to do link in the description um discord and then just join me on there you can message me on there you can private message me you can send it in my server because there's an upload chat where you can send your systems in there as well so if you want your systems in that is all you need to do pretty simple stuff there but yeah there we go that is that but and also guys let's um, see if we can get 40 likes on today's video as well and yeah definitely let me know your thoughts on that modded solar system of all of those asteroids i think that'd be really really cool to do but yeah, well, that's everything out of the way, guys. So yeah, make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.